It's not all about iPads and tablets and things like that. There's some just some good old fashioned games that are still very popular. Kirsten yeah. Anderson, our toy toyologist. It's not easy to say. Toyologist. What's a new toyologist. term? Is it not? Uh, no, we've been around 10 years. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, the official toyologist. She's the only toyologist. <laughs> of Canada. Yeah. yeah. She's there you go. Of, of the whole country. Okay, yes, so exactly. What, what are the best games this Christmas? Well, we have so, lots of new ones here. And what's great about games is it brings everyone together. That's what you remember is the games. And actually, it was a tradition in our family to have a game on Christmas Eve that you could learn and then that you can play it all through the holidays, right? right? Now this one is maybe not a holiday game, but a great one that we've been selling because it's only $15. It's mm -hmm. been winning tons of awards because it's for helping kids learn how to read. So what you do is you pin this up to your fridge or your wall, and they get these little, you hide something around the house, like whatever you want. Like it could be, um, you, you write it on here, like, okay. or, or you could hide an actual toy or a candy or a cookie or right. sort of motivating yeah, a motivating tool. thing. Yeah. That's yeah. right. You choose what's best for your child, right? Okay. Um, vegetable plate. And then we have for different levels, level one, <laughs> two, and three that's like, yeah, that's... Um, for reading. So it says, look under the couch. And then they can find the word look and they find in and they find couch. And then so oh. even the non-reader, so my little four-year-old right. is using these clues, even though he's just learning his alpha. But right. he's actually figuring this out, whereas the six-year-old can use level three, which is a little bit harder. Find it in the cup beside the sink. Right. And so then the parent is going around hiding it, and then they, right. they're good for like 15 minutes oh, finding all these things. So it's very interactive. Awesome. Yeah. Now, this would be more like age 10 and up, three mm -hmm. to six players. And uh, we tested this out over a few glasses of wine, and it was fabulous. <laughs> that's a good that's way how you to do it in the lab? Yeah, uh, exactly. That's toil yeah. just testing for <laughs> you. And is. these were some of the pictures that we were drawing in it. But uh, This is after a couple of glasses of wine. That's right. Yeah, nice and they were good. Yeah. That's not bad at all. So what's fun about this see? is everybody's doing it at the same time, and you're racing. As soon as you finish drawing, you get to take the highest the highest piece and then you get that score so if, oh, okay. and so does a person who's guessing get that score so you're motivated to finish quickly but not too quickly or your picture may not be good enough to guess well, what is this one here in the middle i think that was uh, ferris wheel ferris wheel oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. yeah and vase and Flower lemonade and yeah oh, so I was when say you roll the dice okay. that's what you know what to draw and everyone's drawing something different okay really fun okay this looks like a little mermaid kind of mermaid thing. game invented by an eight-year-old girl while she was sailing cool. the seven seas with her family for a year her nice and her life. brothers invented it and uh, and then game right who does a fabulous job of all their games came up with all these great characters and they're just beautiful this one's kind of and scary. again Yes, that, that's the sea monster. You never want to be stuck with the sea monster, so you're trying oh, to get rid of like that one. It's like the Ferris wheel art. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> now, Dutch Blitz is really cool because people get so excited to find this. It's been around for decades, actually, whereas these ones are all new. This one's been around for decades, and um, it has very, people know it in different formats, but again, you have different piles of different colors, four decks, so four people play. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those ones where people want to keep coming back to it and back to it, and People get so excited because it's a very rare it thing to find. With a Dutch accent like Jay was doing. A the wonderful, good game. Yes, that's very, <laughs> very good. Very, uh, <laughs> very appealing. I like it. Yeah. Okay, this sounds like fun. Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat is a new one. It was an award winner. It was in the Sun and the province um, as a Canadian Toy Testing Council um, Children's Choice Award. So you hide something inside, and then these are all flipped over the other way, but I just turned them so you could see them. And you might ask a question. You might, there's a little flap where you can smell inside of it. You can take a peek at it to get a hint of what it might be. Um, What's in the hat today? You could say, is it something you would find in the kitchen? Is it something you would <gasps> find in a bedroom? It's so an oddly enough, it is something you would find in the kitchen. <laughs> That's right. So age three and up, uh, a big award winner. Family charades, so for younger kids. Okay. You don't have to have always older kids. And Excellent. And Anamia is one of our uh, top adult games for age uh, 10 and up. This would be um, where we... Oh, so the mom and dad can we play We match as well. a symbol. Yeah, or if you're having a dinner party, this would be a great one to have uh, for a, a dinner party. A game over some glasses of wine. Of wine. And, yeah. and, and then yes, you can draw. Then, yeah. Exactly. And and what what game arts. isn't better, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how you probably came up with toyologists, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's good. Brain take it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, thanks stuffer. very much, Kirsten. Uh, we're right out of time, but we'll have you again in uh, next week's talk it's more. Stocking stuffers? Stocking stuffers yep. this time. All right, 949-0444 for Village Toy Shop. Dot ca